We're Tom and Hannah, and we've spent the last few weeks doing some of the best rated things to do in North Island. Join us in this video as we explore more of what North Island has to offer. We just left Hobbiton, which you can check out in our last video. Just somewhere here. And only about a half an hour away from Hobbiton is Blue Springs, which is meant to be this really, really, really pretty clear blue stream and where you can see all the like plants underneath the water. Are we going to go check it out? The waterfalls were one of the main things to do around Taupo, but oh my gosh, I did not expect it to be like that. It doesn't even look real. Like it's so blue and so fast moving. We headed to Lake Taupo to do a boat trip to see the Maori rock carving, and they warned us it might be a bit of a rough journey. The boat was rocking so much that we couldn't get up to look at the carving, but Tom managed to get a photo. We were planning on doing the Alpine crossing today, but Cyclone Gabrielle has sort of put a stop to that. Mm. We come to do a few low level walks. Yeah, we'll keep it safe. Even though the skies have gone blue and the rainbows come out, we still don't want to risk it with the storm and the flooding and all the things that have been happening with Cyclone Gabrielle. So we thought we'd just come and do a few local walks, see some waterfalls and stuff. So now we're going to Tau High Falls. Also known as Gollum's, Gollum's Pool. That's oh, the no, little So this is Gollum's Pool, and in Lord of the Rings, this is the pool known as the Forbidden Pool, in which Frodo and Faramir capture Gollum. I think it's in the third film, I think it's in Return of the King. It's really cool to see just a filming location. I know we've already been to Hobbiton, but it's really nice that filming locations like these are really accessible to people. This was like a 10 minute walk, if that. The sun has well and truly come out now, even though it's still like wet in the air. Like, there's yeah. no clouds, but it's still raining. <laughs> It's, it's really quite impressive how we're being both drenched and scorched. We've just visited the eyesight to sort of look at some low level, safer walks than the actual al alpine crossing, and they suggested Taranaki Falls. It's a two hour loop walk, I've just started it, so hopefully the weather stays pretty good for the entirety of it. We're up on the ridge now, which is very, very exposed, and the full force of the wind comes into play. But behind me now is Mount Doom, 
the real Mount Doom from the movies. This is amazing. We have arrived at the Waitomo Glimmer Glimmo. <laughs> Waitomo Glimmer. We have arrived at the Waitomo Glowworm Cave. It is sort of the quintessential thing to do when in New Zealand and because Alice is here we thought you know we'll do all the touristy things and this is definitely the top one. Mm. And one thing on her list was glowworms and what better place to see glowworms than the most popular and famous glowworm caves in New Zealand. It's like really fancy. Yeah. Especially it's compared a... to Waipu caves that we went to a couple of months ago where it was like it's drenching through mud and... Going in a cave and you know getting wet, see the glowworms. This one, I know that there's a boat ride. I'm really excited though. I really hope it lives up to what I'm expecting and all the yeah. photos. So excited! That was amazing! We've just left the cave. And sadly, we weren't allowed to, you know, take any photography yeah, or videos understandably. out of respect of the glowworms and for the cave. But oh my god! Our tour guide, oh, I can't remember his name, but his he name was, was Moy. Moy, yes. Moy, he yeah. was amazing. He was so funny. That he was like so informative. We learned so much about caves and about glowworms. And he was an incredible storyteller. Yeah, and then at one point when we got to the cathedral, he turned the lights off and he sang, and it was so. Beautiful and moving. Yeah. Apparently, eighty percent of them are all related, and they're all descendants of the first man who found this cave. Yeah, which so is really, really cool. They've kept it in the family for generations. On the boat, they basically navigate by in the pitch black by pulling on these ropes, and it's like he knew them. Like the back of his hand. Yeah, and the amount of glowworms is like I can't even describe it. It's like nothing I've seen before. You Highly come recommend in. coming here. I can here. understand now why it is one of the quintessential things yeah. to do in New Zealand. And even without the glowworms, you learn so much, and it's such a fun, good tour. So yeah, really glad we did that. Go here. After Waitomo, we visited the nearby Marakopa waterfall before heading to Piri Piri Caves to try and spot some more glowworms. Sadly, we didn't see any glowworms, but it was still a really cool cave. It's like this giant cavern. Um, if you're along this way, I think it's definitely worth visiting. <laughs> 